Hi everyone, welcome to ITBK. In today's video, we will learn the steps on how to configure Microsoft Defender antivirus policy using Microsoft Intune. Microsoft included Defender antivirus on Windows 10, Windows 11, and Windows servers. The security component could be managed by Group Policy, PowerShell, or the setting app. Defender for Endpoint, which requires monthly subscription, is the only option for remoting and monitoring. As an alternative, we can also accomplish this with Microsoft Intune. Intune security antivirus policy help security admins or the global admins focus on managing the discrete group of antivirus settings for managed devices. The antivirus policy includes several profiles. Each profile contains only the settings that are relevant for Microsoft Defender, for Endpoint, Windows, and Mac OS devices. Or for the user experience in the Windows Security app in the Windows devices. Antivirus policy includes the same settings as found in Endpoint Protection. So in this video, we will try to understand the steps on setting up and manage antivirus setting with endpoint security policy in Microsoft Intune. First of all, we need to sign in to Microsoft Intune Management Center with a global administrator account and with entering the URL intune.microsoft.com. So now, uh, as first you have decided to setting up this Microsoft Defender endpoint security, you must first create a group to test on that group first, right? Please note that if you want to test it on only one device, for that you also have to create a security group. So it's better to create a one security group and add a single device into that security group. Once you are 100% sure about your policy is working on that single device, you could add more devices into that group. So for your understanding, I've created a test windows clients group here. We will assign this group our policy. After creating the group, let's go to endpoint security. In the endpoint security under manage, please go to antivirus. In the antivirus section here, we suppose to create a policy and under every policy click on create policy in the platform please select windows and in the profile type please select microsoft defender antivirus after selecting microsoft antivirus windows defender antivirus is next generation protection component of microsoft defender endpoint next generation protection brings together machine learning big data analysis in depth threat resistance research and cloud infrastructure to protect devices in your enterprise organization. This policy will apply to Windows 10, Windows 11, and Windows Server. This setting in the policy can be targeted to MDM Mobile Device Management, Microsoft Sense, supported devices. Let's go ahead and click on Create. Type a meaningful name in the name section and also meaningful description in the description. Right, so I have typed here Microsoft Defender antivirus policy for Windows devices and servers. Let's click next. At the configuration page, here we have the list of options of configuring Microsoft Defender antivirus. You can configure these settings as required by your organization or as required by your security team. Since my purpose of video is only to explain you and show you how we can configure the setting, so we will set up some of these settings in this video. But to keep this video simple and concise, I will not be going to explain you each of these settings and also if you want to learn about each setting in detail you can click on this exclamation sign and then you can go to learn more option where you will get detail about any of the policies on the microsoft page so here on the microsoft page we have information about each settings and the options related to each settings right you can review all of these if required. Now let's close the web page and 
configure some of the policies. For this option, allow archive scanning, we will select allow scan the archive files. For the option allow cloud protection, we will select this and we will turn on cloud protection. Now for email scanning, let's also select it allow to turn on email scan. So let's say uh, we want to say that allow full scan for removable drive. So yes, allow scan removable drives. We want to set this up as well. Now, uh, if you want to allow intrusion prevention system, you can go here and you can select to allow it. So we also want to select allow scanning of all downloaded files and attachments. Yes. We also want to select allow real-time monitoring option to allow turn on and run the real-time monitoring service. So allow scanning network file. Yes, we want to allow this. Allow script scanning. Yes, we want to allow this. So next, we are going to configure PUA protection. Real-time scanning, direction, and on access protection. So let's go ahead and find their settings, scroll down, and we want to try to find PUA protection. Here are those settings. And this setting specify the level of detection and potentially unwanted applications. Windows Defender alerts you when potentially unwanted software is being downloaded or attempt to install itself on your computer. That's perfect. You want to set it to on and detecting items are blocked. That's perfect. For real time scan direction, we want to select monitor all files by direction. So scroll a little down and I'm searching for here allow on access protection. Allow or disallow Windows Defender on access protection functionality. I want to set this to allow as well. So for your understanding, we have set up few settings, security settings as per our requirement and as for your understanding. You can set up any settings related to your requirement or related to your security team requirement. So from my end, that's it. What I want to set up the settings here. And I want to click next here. I want to use the default scope tag here and I don't want to remove default scope tag here and I don't have any other scope tag to assign. Let's click next and at the assignment page we can search the group. Okay, the group we have created. Test Windows Client, right? Make sure your this group have devices. Make sure your this group have devices. For your understanding, I will proceed by adding a device into this group. So let's go ahead and quickly add a device into test when client group. Let's go to groups. In the group section for the group test when client. And we want to add here a, a single device just for testing purpose. And please note that for your every policy, for your every setting, first test that only on a single device or a group or, or a user. Once you are 100% sure that your policy settings are working perfectly on a single resource, you can proceed to deploy that on all other required resources. Now uh, click next and review all of your settings which are required by you or by your organization or the security team. If you are okay with all of these settings, you can click on save. Once you click on save, that Windows Defender antivirus policy has been deployed successfully. Let's go to uh, endpoint security again. Here in the antivirus, you must have this single policy assigned, right? Here you go. If you want to edit this policy or if you want to view the report, you can come to this policy and you can view the report from here.
report will include succeeded error config not applicable or in progress devices and if you want to edit any settings edit the group from the assignments you can go to edit you can edit the configuration settings right or you can update or change any configuration settings by coming to this edit button here okay you can go to your uh, window device and you can perform a manual sync with Microsoft Intune or you can restart your Windows device twice. Once any of your Windows device will pick up these policies that will come in here, succeeded, right? Once antivirus policy have been deployed from Intune and your device are successfully synced, you can go directly to Windows Security. Once you will go to Windows Security and then Virus and Threat protection. In the virus and threat protection, you can go to manage setting. All these settings will be turned on if these are set up from the cloud, and user will not be able to change these settings from here as I am changing. I have gotten the screenshot for you uh, here, and in the screenshot, we can see that the setting is managed by your administrator and user is not able to turn off this setting right you can see this screenshot these settings are on and the turning off option is blurred or gray out and also turning off option is not working right also once the device gets synced and pick up these policy you will see the status of devices in the policy monitoring where we have a report of succeeded errors warning or conflict so i hope you enjoyed this simple n2d point tutorial for setting up windows defender antivirus policies using microsoft intune endpoint protection thanks for watching keep watching and don't forget to subscribe itpk take care